What's going on world? George Kill here. March Madness is very near, so we have a college basketball edition of Royal Key up for you. I'm with Mike Sweats, Director of Operations for USC. How are you doing, man? I'm great, man. How are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Excellent. Excellent. Now, USC. Yep. Everyone knows USC. Football, basketball. What are we going to see here today? Today, we're going to show you a little bit about uh, our campus, our facilities. I want to show you Galen Center first, where we play our home games. I think it's a really great facility. I'd love to show you guys a little bit more. Right, and you guys have awesome colorways on your shoes and apparel, so we're in for a treat, right? We do, absolutely. You guys yeah. are, for sure. Let's check it out. All right, sounds good. So right here, we're in the heart of our basketball facility, the Galen Center. It's been a really great home court advantage for us over the last couple of years, really in the mecca of basketball here in downtown LA. We're a mile and a half from the Staples Center. When we're playing here, when the Lakers got a game, when the Clippers got a game, there's just yeah. basketball everywhere in downtown LA. You say a mile and a half away, yeah. but with LA traffic, what does it take you an hour to get there? Sure, you never know. <laughs> Anywhere else in the world, it could take you five minutes. But here in LA, 15 to 45, you just right. never know. So how many people does the stadium hold? It holds uh, just over 10,000, 10 and a half. What's the most unique thing about this, about the Galen Center? It's the visuals. It's a grand arena. It can get really loud. But the fun thing is you can actually see downtown LA from just about any seat. You know, it gives a little different spin on, on your basketball experience. You yeah. know, you're being in the heart of the city, but being the basketball right here in the Galen Center. Right, well, Mike, this is my first time, so I'm gonna have to see that experience. Okay. So what's the best seat in the house to see downtown LA? Best vantage uh, point, let's walk up a couple steps and we'll check it out. You're yeah. not from this area. I'm not. So, I'm so not. palm trees are, are new to you in a sense. How long have you been here? I've been at USC for two years now, second season under Coach Enfield. Working mm -hmm. for Coach has been has been unbelievable. He's been great to me, been great to our guys, and it's been a lot of fun working here and, and being around the group that we have. We've got a special group. Right, right. And where did you come from? What is your, your backstory? Backstory, I was a student manager at Boston College for Al Skinner for three years. I spent two years at, at Providence College as a graduate assistant, and then the last five before coming here at uh, Towson University in Baltimore. Describe the difference between working with Boston College, Providence, uh, and now working with USC. You know, it's just, it's the level of players. It's, mm. uh, and there's something different about West Coast basketball. There's just, <laughs> you know, there's so many good players that come from LA. When I was at Boston College, three of our, our, our better players were right from the LA area. Craig oh, Smith, wow. Jared Dudley from San Diego, and then Sean Marshall was here in, in LA too. So we've always kind of had that LA connection yeah. uh, it, it, for me, but uh, it, it's fun being out here now and just seeing all the talent that's just right here in LA. Oh, all right. Now, game day, yep. uh, USC's bench is right here. Mm -hmm. Where are you usually located? First chair, right next to the scores table. Okay. I'm kind of uh, coach's first line of defense in terms of managing the game and, you know, timeouts, stats, fouls you know, mm -hmm. things like that, so that he knows exactly what's going on and what the situation is, no matter wh where we are in the game. Now we're here with Libby Garcia, the equipment manager for USC Basketball. Libby, uh, this is where the magic happens, right? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. I'm seeing some awesome apparel here. Kind of walk us through everything that you guys have going here. So here we see our four jerseys. We have our gold and our cardinal, which are our regular school colors. And then we have our alternate colors, which is the white and the black. We'll stick to the dark colors for the road, and then we'll play at home in the gold or the white. In addition to that, we also have our shoes here. So we have a variety of shoes. We like to use our Kobe's a lot for our game day shoes. And then we have our travel shoe, which this year is a trainer. It has a USC and then we use this key pattern. Pretty neat. We have our shower sandals because you know the guys when you take care of their feet and all of that. <laughs> we have here then a couple of LeBrons that we like to use in case some of the guys who like a higher sole. We have our shooting shirt that the team will wear out for game days. We got their last name on them. It's pretty neat. Nice. We have a couple nice outfits here. This one they like to wear, you know, just out around. And then of course the t-shirts. You can't go wrong with the t-shirts. <laughs> they always need like a thousand of them. And then we also have their travel suit. It's what they go on the airplane with. Yeah, that's Things my like favorite that. piece so far. Yeah, yeah I the like The pants that. on that are super cool. They are yeah. like jogger. They're, they're fitted, which is great. And then this past winter we, we got this. It's a heavier fleece 
is really neat for like the Washington or the Utah, Colorado trip. They need mm -hmm. that because here in California, <laughs> God forbid we get the cold. So what is the biggest shoe size you manage here? Oh my goodness, my first year here, we had a recruit, a player from Egypt, and he was a size 18. Whoa. So I don't know if that's average for basketball, but not for my basketball uh, for yeah. sure. So our viewers are big time sneakerheads. Besides the shoes you have, are, is there a certain player on the team that's just very high maintenance or are they all high maintenance when it comes to their shoes? <laughs> They're definitely all, I wouldn't say high maintenance, I would say unique. Okay. And I, I do, do, do love that about them because our coach lets the team wear the shoe that they desire as long mm -hmm. as it's Nike. <laughs> and so they all get to show their personalities, but J-Mac, uh, Jordan McLaughlin is huge about his shoes. You'll see him with a whole bunch of Nike ID shoes. He'll get his name on them. He'll get like a Bible verse or like all sorts of cool things on them. You have Benny, Benny Boatwright as well. He He's great on his shoes. They all bounce off each other, their ideas and everything. So it's neat. Libby, thank you so much for letting us see everything that happens in here. Before I leave, I'm going to take that uh, hoodie <laughs> over there. But, yeah, uh, I mean, Chimezi might need it you now to go on his <laughs> next trip, but sure, go ahead. <laughs> Now we're here in our practice gym, just upstairs in Galen Center, second floor, just above our offices. Open to the guys anytime they want to come up, get shots up, 2 a.m., 2 p.m. But you notice on the walls, you know, some of the, the Trojan greats, Brian Scalabrini, Nick Young, DeMar DeRozan, Vucevic, Dwayne Dedman, the Trojans will be next level in the NBA. You know, they actually come around a lot more often because, you know, we're right down the street from the Staples Center and this is the, basically the de facto NBA practice room gym right. when you come to play the, the Clippers and the Lakers. So yeah. we get a lot of pros in our gym uh, just about every single day. Right, but Mike, why does every photo have, have to be, you know, someone dunking on someone? You, you guys have Nick Young dunking on Oregon, Taj dunking on our beloved UT Longhorns. That's the style that we love to play. We love to get up and down. We yeah. love the, the alley-oops, the dunks, that gets crowd excited, gets mm -hmm. our guys excited. We like to play with emotion. We like to say in the locker room before games, we like to play fast, play smart, play unselfish, play together. Yeah, definitely. And that kind of style, along with getting up and down and the dunks, you know, that brings people into the stands and that brings the electricity into the arena on game day. Right, right. So you mentioned a lot of NBA players come through here for practice. What has been the most shocking NBA player that's come through here for you? Whether it's the height, you know, just the sheer girth of the, of the guys at the next level. I mean, it's a business for those guys. You know, yeah. to take care of their bodies. Of course. And, you know, a guy like Chris Paul might only be 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", but he's built like a fullback, yeah. you know, <laughs> to see him come through. And some of the guys like Dirk Nowitzki, some of the great NBA legends, they're coming here playing in our gym basically every single day during the season. Right. All right, Mike, before we get out of here, uh, USC starting five all yeah. time Whew. for you. Starting five all time. Yeah. NBA players only. NBA players only. I got to go Paul Westfall. Okay. Harold Miner. DeMar DeRozan. I'm going to go Nick Young. And, you know, I'm a Boston guy, so I'm going to throw this one out as a personal favorite, Brian Scalabrini. All right, Mike, where are we going to go next? We're going to go check out the training room and the weight room, see where our guys get better on a daily basis. One of the big things we do here at USC is our fueling station program. You see it here. We've got one in every single athletic building that we have on campus, and it's designed to make sure that the guys are ready to go no matter what. So when they get up in the morning, fueling station's open for four or five hours, they get their breakfast, they start the day off right. right. Pre-practice, they come in, they get their high protein snack, go to practice, come back, they get their smoothie after practice, and then they're gonna come back, they're gonna go right to dinner, and they're gonna make sure that they get a post-practice meal so that as soon as they're done, they get the fuel that they need to recover sooner to get back on the court sooner. And then next, obviously, our fabulous weight room. I mean, it's where the guys are in here in the summers, they're here four, five, six times a week. In the season, two, three times a week, it's about getting better about getting stronger, about putting the best physical product you can on the court day in and day out. Amazing facilities. We gotta tell our guys to get out of here. That's how much they wanna be in here, just to get better. Right, I've seen a ton of NBA weight rooms and they don't compare to this. This is state of the art for sure. You know, we're, we're very fortunate to have the facilities that we do here at USC. Um, and this is just one of those prime examples where we have the best of the best. All right, Mike, I'm seeing a lot of hardware in here. Right now we're in the Hall of Champions, the Hall of Fame, right in front of uh, Taj Gibson. It highlights the Trojan greats, the great teams, the great players. It's really where you look at it and you come in here and you recognize 
just how strong the USC brand is. Just yeah. the number of national championships, the number of all Americans across all sports. Right. You know, no matter where you go, it's that fight on mentality. And as we walked by the Trojan Greats on Sports Illustrated yeah. wall, I noticed a lot of people I didn't even know went to USC, like Mark McGuire, mm -hmm. Randy Johnson. Who are some of the other greats in all of sports that have, you know, attended USC? Sure. You know, everybody knows about the, the great tradition that our, our football program has and, and the success they've had you know, in the past and in the last couple of years uh, under Coach Clay Helton. But you talk about Randy Johnson, Mark McGuire on the baseball side, and then you go over into the women's basketball and you have maybe two of the greatest women's basketball players ever in Cheryl Miller and Cynthia Cooper, who actually played on the same team. Wow. I mean, that's just not fair, right? <laughs> right that's right. not fair. And then they, you know, they went two national championships back to back, 83 and 84. But it just speaks, you know, to the longevity of the success of the Trojans and the brand, the, you know, the, the strength of the brand that it has across time and, you know, location.